Hello everyone, I'm back uh, doing another video, I haven't been publishing many videos lately, so I'm going to try to do about two videos a day for this week, because basically just to pay off for not being on for like five months. So, I'm doing a scratch tutorial, if you don't know what scratch is, um... I don't know why you're here, but anyway, Scratch is just a online community of people making different games. And basically, I'm going to do a tutorial, as you can see right here, the background music tutorial. I'm doing a tutorial on how to make background music. Now, you may think that background music is just such an easy thing. You just go to when flag clicked forever and then play your sound until done well if you want to change it and still have it play forever it kind of gets out of hand because you say let's say when I press space it stops it for a second and then it just continues so I'm basically going to do a tutorial on how to fix that. Now, first off, as you all know, we delete this cat. If you don't know how, we go up here where it has a delete, which is a picture of scissors right up here. Grab that. Either click this cat right here or the one down here. Click it, and he's gone. Now, insert a new sprite. You can either paint a new sprite or choose a sprite from the library. Right now, I'm gonna paint one, just something real quick. Not anything that takes too long. And I'll be right back whenever I get this painted. Okay, I'm back. I just did a little play game button. And I did a little bit of the background. So anyways, you might be wondering why I'm putting a play game button when we're doing a tutorial on how to put background music. Well, we want background music that's different. The, we want music in the starting screen different from the actual game, right? Okay, so we bring a win flag clicked from the event blocks, which basically means start. I'll do a, I'll compl just go over everything and do what everything means. Anyways, we do a forever block, if, then, Okay, so we're going to make a new variable, which is in the data tab right underneath pin. Click make a variable, and I'm going to name it music. Okay, so you see this? We don't want this showing, so we could just click this, but I want to make sure it always stays hidden. So I'm going to put win flag clicked hide variable music, so whenever I start the game, it's gone. Okay. So now that's done, we also want to set the music to zero. Zero is going to be the default background music. So, this is zero. If music, draw another music from data, then go to operations and hit this. I'll grab this out of there. The equals, this music equals zero. And then put it up here. Then, let's just grab a sound, I guess I'll just use pop, or I'll just look in the sounds folder, hmm, I'll just use bell toll, I guess, then I'm going to put that in there, forever, if music equals zero, then sound, Play sound, a bell toll, until done. So, now, it's playing that sound over and over again. Okay, next, we're gonna put a different sound. Say this is a different background music. I guess I'll use boing, the boing sound. Then, play until done. Now, right now, nothing has changed. It's still the same. Now, we're moving on to the actual coding sort of part, I guess. I'm gonna do when flag, when the sprite clicked, 
you can do it two ways. You can do when sprite clicked, or you can do it the hard way and do forever if, and then grab a operations block, put an and, and then go to sensing, touching mouse pointer, and mouse down, then do whatever. But I'm going to use click sprite because it's much faster. All you have to do for this part is just put everything I'm putting underneath the when this sprite clicked right in here. So anyways, when this sprite clicked, we want to stop all of the sounds that are happening right now and then change music, I mean set music to 1. Now watch this. You spell tall, click this. And it's going to do that noise. Now basically what is happening here is when we start the game the music is set to 1. Let me just show the music. And anyways, it says if music equals 0 then play sound bell toll until done. So basically when you start out it equals music equals 0. Which just means when you start out, because I've made it set at music to zero, it plays this. But else equals is something other than zero. So I could even set this to like two or three, and it would still work. Like Anyways, that's basically how it works. And since it's else, it's going to play this forever. And the reason why we put... Stop all sounds, because this is what would happen if we didn't put stop all sounds. It wouldn't work, because it's got to stop this song. I mean, it would work, but it'd take a while until it actually started working. That's basically it for the, this. That's not the entire thing done, because we've still got to do, like, would you want more background music, like it to change even more? So I'm going to go ahead and trash all of this. Actually, we could probably just work upon this. So, I'm going to make a, another sprite. Let's just make a sprite that looks like maybe a level button. I'll be right back when I design that. Okay, I am back. Just a simple level 1 button. And let's say you want it to have another different type of music whenever you click the number, I mean the level. So, we're basically going to add on to this. So, forever... And then we're going to leave this, but then we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to set this to 1. And then, let's take these both out. And then let's have another sound for a different background music. Let's see. Let's do computer beeps. Okay, so, play sound, computer beeps. A actually... We can take out if and then, and we can just make it the if then instead of just if then and else. So then, if music equals one, then play sound computer beeps until done. Now, if you're doing this, I recommend doing the same thing you did here with this one. So changing this to one, changing this to two, taking this one out, Destroying all of these and making it into an if then instead of an if else. So, then play, let's say, not computer beeps because we've already done that, bell toll. And then I'll duplicate this again and change this to a 3 and do boing. So let me delete all of this except this. And this. And I'm also going to make another one for forever. If. And this is going to duplicate this. Music equals zero. Then. Stop all sounds. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and redo it. When this sprite clicked. I want music hold on sound 
I want to stop all sound so we can actually get a new sound. And then, see, stop all sounds and we want to get a new sound. So what sound do we want? We want bell toll to play, right? And bell toll is music equals one, so we want to set music to one. So we bring the music out and then set it to one. Set music to one. So whenever I press the play game button, it does that. Now whenever I click it again, it doesn't stop, but it does replay. But that's fine. Because you're not going to be doing that over and over because you're actually going to be going into the game and won't see that again. So anyways, you want this to play a different music too, don't you? So, let's duplicate this and bring it here. Okay? So now this is here. And we want, let's say we want it to play computer beeps, which is 2. So, set music to 2 whenever I press this. Works pretty good. Now, the reason why I set this to stop all sound is because I'm just saying, like, I don't want any background uh, or noise or whatever at the start. But you can always change this through different sound or background music. And it's will play whenever there's no sound or equals zero or whatever you want. So if I press this, it does that. It does that. Pretty simple. Now, all you gotta do if you wanna make another one, I'll be right back and make another level. Okay, that is done. We made, made level 5 and say we want level 5 to be different than the sound of level 1. And all we gotta do is duplicate this, put it in here when the sprite clicked, and then pick a sound from here. And let's say I wanna do boing again. So, boing is music 3, so I change it to 3 whenever I press number 5. So let's try it out. Okay, so it's normally playing that. Oh, and one thing I should mention is that you should do when the flag clicked and stop all sounds so you don't have what I just accidentally did there. Then, now, press this. Then press this one. Then press this one. See? Works perfectly. Now, say you want the sound to stop. That's where music zero is going to come in. As I so told you, you can use it as nothing. Or I might want to change it to, like, music point one, And we'll just set it to stop all sound. So, I'm going to have another button, which I'll be right back once again. Okay, here's the no music button. I also took no time at all on that. So then, when the sprite clicked, s stop all sounds, we can't forget that. And I think I forgot, no, I didn't forget it here. Okay, anyways. Then, set music to point one. So, I'll press it, and it stops all the sounds. Easy. Now, this is not my way of doing it. The way that's good at doing it, well, the way that works the best is actually doing this. Change, set volume to zero. Now, if you press this, and do that, it's going to kind of mess up your game. Now, see, it's not working for me anymore. So, you want to do, when the flag clicked, and then set volume to 100%. And then I click this. Hmm, I must have done something wrong. Let's see. I'll be right back and see if I can figure out what I did wrong. Okay, guys, I think I found out the problem. So basically what I was doing wrong is that the change volume t thing is only for the one sprite that you're using, not for all of the sprites, which is what I got wrong. So basically, we're going to do when the sprite clicked and then broadcast a broadcast or message called no music. Now, when I receive no music, 
and then you go to set volume to zero. Now I'm going to do when fly clicked, set volume to 100 so it starts out with sound. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and just duplicate it to all the other ones. And now let's try it. I also do the volume tab right here just to test out the volume. You don't need to put this. I was just testing it out. I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I don't need it. Okay. See, I click these and they are not making any noise. And I click this again and it still doesn't make any noise. Now, do you want... If you want this to still have noise, like when you click it again, then duplicate this, and then go to the first one, and see right here where it says the X and the Y? Well, go to Motion, and drag out to Go To, and then this. It automatically sets it to the X and the Y that the item you used is in. So, I'm basically going to copy this over to that one by dragging it in and then deleting this one and then just click this and now they're in the same place so I also want to do when flag clicked hide because we can't have both of these buttons showing at the same time this one however is going to be when flag clicked show and do this when I receive no music hide and this one when I receive no music, show. Now, this needs to be changed to music. Whoops, spelled that wrong. Now, when I receive music, hide. When I receive music, show. Basically, it's making two buttons look like one. One, whenever you click it, it hides and goes to this other button. These both buttons have the ops do the opposite thing. This button will turn the music off and hide itself where you can't see it. And then this one will turn the music on and show. And then you click this, and this will hide, and this one will show, so you can just go in between the two. Now, the only thing is we don't have any code for music. So all we want to do is duplicate this and then take that when flag clicked out and do when I receive music set volume to 100 and then just duplicate it to the other ones. Now, I turn it off, none of the music is playing, turn it back on. And then turn it off and it's off. And it continues playing the same sound it was. That is basically going to do it for this advanced music tutorial. Not just a normal music tutorial. This is actually pretty advanced. Anyways, if there's anything you need to ask me, anything you need help on with music related, or anything related in general to Scratch, I'll do a tutorial on it, or I can do a part two to this tutorial. If you need help, just put in the comments anything you don't understand, or if you want me to make a part two and help explain this or that or maybe you want me to redo this video and make it easier to understand well anyways that's about to do it for this video i guess i'll see you later bye hope you use this to good take this info to good use in your games guess i'll see you later bye